right, this week, Street Soldiers is taking a look at the pressure to be perfect. Plastic surgeries and cosmetic procedures are on the rise. And in some cases, people are risking their lives to change their looks. It's all fueled by the obsession with social media. Lisa is here with a preview. Yeah, it really is. It really is. It's unbelievable. The We're so confronted with how we look 24-7 now with social media. But it's a lot of people, and it's mm -hmm. even more than we thought, you know, and that's yeah. what I found out doing this story. But the selfie fad, as you know, and social media revolution are drastically changing the way we look at ourselves. More women than ever are seeking cosmetic procedures and plastic surgery, and some are risking their lives to get the look they want. But where do you draw the line between desirable and dangerous? Like big butts in a cat. 25 years after Sir Mix-a-Lot's hip-hop classic, butts are bigger than ever in popularity and in size. A music industry requirement for video vixens and female artists like Nicki Minaj, who celebrated a huge career milestone with this Instagram video. I sat down with Dr. David Schaefer, one of the top plastic surgeons in the country, for his take. Butt lifts, which, you know, have just started a few years ago, are definitely uh, exponentially increasing. DJ K. Slay's wildly popular straight stuntin' magazine was one of the first to celebrate bootylicious beauties with high fashion model type shoots. Plastic surgery can change your shape in many other ways, like bigger breasts or fat reduction. Take Honey Boo Boo star Mama June Slim Down from 325 pounds to a size 4. In some circles, slim is still very much in. The idea of beauty is different for every person and different cultures and different groups of people. So some people come in here, they want their whole body life or sexual, they want to be thin as a rail, right? Other people come in, they want to have curves, they want to have breasts, they want to have everything done. Dr. Schaefer says bargain basement surgery in other countries can cause serious health complications and end up costing a patient more money in the long run. If you're thinking of surgery, he offers these tips. Do your research, make sure it's a real office, meet in person with a doctor, and choose a board-certified plastic surgeon. Board certification tells you that that doctor has gone through all of the qualifications to become a doctor. And there's the academic learning, the ethical part of becoming a board-certified doctor, and then also all the training and experience that they've had. Another key is non-physical, having realistic expectations, which Dr. Schaefer gives his patients using the latest technology. The whole idea, of course, is to feel better about how you look. You want to make sure they're doing it for themselves and not somebody else pressuring them to do the surgery because otherwise you're not going to make them happy. Dr. Schaefer also told me the demand is so great for these procedures that doctors not trained in plastic surgery are getting into the field by calling themselves cosmetic surgeons. But he says that is not the same. On the next episode of Street Soldiers, we go deeper into our society's image obsession.